Last week, we traveled north to Onomichi, a city just east of Hiroshima, to start our two-day adventure biking the Shimanami Kaido. This is a famous highway across the Seto Inland Sea and connects Onomichi to Imabari. At just under 50 miles long, this path crosses over six islands and through two prefectures. The path has a dedicated cycling route, so it really is as simple as following the blue line along the road. We rented bikes and split our trip over two days. Be sure to check out the description box below for our detailed itinerary and some other helpful resources if you're interested in giving this a try. Welcome back to my channel. This week we are biking the Shimanami Kaido, which is like a 70 kilometer bike ride. We started in Onomichi and then we are gonna be ending in Imabari. We rode through three islands yesterday, totaling 27 miles. This morning we're starting day two, not even 30 minutes into the ride yesterday, I got a flat tire, which was definitely annoying and we lost about an hour to that, just waiting for the company to come and drop off a new bike. There are stops along this whole path that if you have a breakdown or like a flat tire or something like that, there are stops where you can get help. This is definitely a route for cycling enthusiasts. I think Jason and I uh, underestimated how challenging it was going to be. We've had a lot of friends do this and they actually all did the full 70 kilometers in a day. So you know who you are, props to you guys. Honestly, I think a lot of it just has to do with how bad these bikes are. Um, mine will just randomly start gear shifting on its own. Yesterday, we saw a bunch of beautiful sights. Honestly, it looks a lot like Sasebo over here. So it's gorgeous, tons of beautiful bridges and the waterway is gorgeous. We're definitely on the road with cars more than I thought we would be. Going on the bridges and things, you're on your own path. So that's really nice. We stayed right across the street here at the iLink Hotel last night, and I highly recommend this place. It is super cute. It's more of a hostel kind of hotel environment, so we didn't have an actual door to the room we were in. We just had a shade. So we are getting ready to start day two now. We have, I think, maybe like 20 miles to go today, and we will end in Imabari where we are staying overnight, and then tomorrow will just be a travel day all the way back to Sasebo. And we took the Shinkansen up here, which was really fun. Not the most um, budget-friendly way to get here though. Flying is always going to be cheaper, but the Shinkansen is just such a nice experience. So if you haven't done one yet, definitely worth investing the money and doing that. Let's get started. First things first, we're gonna try and change these bikes out to electric. So fingers crossed we can do that. We are going to ride across this bridge called the Kurushimo Kaikyo Bridge and enjoy the views from there. And then it is almost 1 p.m. So maybe on the other side, get some lunch and relax and go see the Imabara Castle. <music> The Kurushima Kaikyo Bridge connects the island of Oshima to the main part of Shikoku, and at the time it was built in 1999, it was the world's largest suspension bridge. 
This was hands down the highlight of our trip. It was such a sense of accomplishment crossing over this two and a half mile long bridge to end our adventure on the Shimanami Kaido. So we made it to the Imabari castle. Yes, I have changed clothes. We finished the bike ride, returned to the bikes and checked into the hotel so that we could drop our bags off and everything because we've been carrying those since we started the bike ride. And now we are finishing up at the Imabari castle, which is actually super cute and gorgeous. Um, it's a little overcast today, but we walked over here. I think it's closed um, due to COVID, so we can't go in it and go to the museum, but we're just gonna walk around the grounds and enjoy ourselves. And yeah, we did it. We biked the 70 some kilometers. I can't remember what the total ended up being, but it was like, I think 48 miles around there. Um, and of course we broke it into two days. We are going to walk around this cute little castle and then head back to the hotel and relax. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I upload new videos every single week. So I will see you next week. Bye.